everybody, Jonathan here, and man, oh man, did I have a lot of fun this weekend at Lexington Comic and Toy Con in Lexington, Kentucky. Now, I go to this convention every single year. I haven't missed it in a long time, and this year I was a media guest, so thank you again to Lexington for, I think, my third year in a row as a media guest coming in to cover the con. Definitely a lot of fun. Now, my friends and I rented an Airbnb in Lexington, and it's an over 100-year-old house, and we all stayed there. It was an absolute blast, and the house had a freaking slide in it. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> oh my gosh, it moves. So we checked into the Airbnb and then we headed over to the convention. As we got there on Friday, the con was actually pretty busy and of course I got to hunting for Lego right away. Unfortunately this year, there wasn't as much Lego as in years past, but I did find some awesome stuff along the way. Also on Friday, I did get to meet some fans along the way, which was very cool, and I got to catch up with my friend Lauren, aka Brightest Witch Bricks, who you may know from the interwebs. We got to hang out at the con, and it's always great to see her, so that was great as well. So on Friday as well, I actually got to meet Priscilla Presley. Yes, the wife of Elvis Presley, who of course, I'm a diehard Elvis fan, but she was really nice. It was awesome. And I got to tell her about the Lego project I worked on at Graceland and we had a cool moment together. So that was a lot of fun. So anyways, Friday rolled on and we went to dinner. I forgot to take any footage of it. So yeah, it is what it is, living in the moment, right? But then of course, Saturday rolled on and that's when I cosplayed. All right, it's day two at Lexington Comic Con. I'm here with Tim and Bob, AKA Cyclops and Ronan. Of course, I'm Ant-Man today. So Saturday at the con, it's always super busy and it's tradition for us here at Lexington to suit up get the Avengers and the X-Men together and go hang out. So bring you along and show you what it's like. I suited up as Ant-Man and if you guys have seen many of my past videos, I do suit up and cosplay from time to time. And this year I went as Ant-Man. I actually own most of the Ant-Man suits except for the Quantum Mania one. For this convention, I did kind of a mix match of the Civil War base suit with the gauntlets and helmet from Endgame. I just wanted to try something new, kind of like my take on making my own version of Ant-Man. Honestly, I think all the suits are so similar that nobody noticed that but me, but now you're in on the secret too. So I ended up wearing the suit for seven hours straight at the convention. Oh my gosh, I was tired, but I hadn't suited up at a con in a couple years at this point. So it was a lot of fun to get back out there, 
do it and it was great that was pretty much everything on saturday saturday night we went to dinner at a place called nick and norman's which is owned by one of the i think producers on the walking dead as well as norman Reedus from the walking dead had a great burger there and that was awesome then on Sunday, we all packed up early. Uh, my friends Tim and Bob and their wives Angie and Amy respectively headed over to the con. And then my friends Michael and Amy, we actually trucked it and we had a great breakfast at a place called Josie's. And we went to a place called Toy HQ in Lexington. This place was absolutely insane. So check out the footage from their store now. After that, we headed to the South Louisville Toy and Antique Mall, and this place is pretty much exclusively toys, and they have all kinds of different vendors, so you get to see all kinds of amazing and different stuff, and I did find quite a bit of Lego stuff there, so it kind of made up for not seeing a lot at the con, so check that out now. Is this custom black Millennium Falcon? That is awesome. It's like the 2011 build, but all in black. It's awesome. And then, of course, after that, we headed back here to Nashville, and this is my favorite part where I get to show you guys the haul. So from Columbus Vintage Toys, I had to pick this up. It is loose, but you can see the minifigs are right up there. This is the 2006 Batcave. I had this as a kid, and it is currently sitting in my mom and dad's house 
in, you know, lost to the bin. But here it is with all of the pieces ready to go. And I'm really excited to get this built and reviewed on the channel soon. From Columbus Vintage Toys, I also picked up this sealed Spider-Man Web Warriors Ultimate Bridge Battle. Uh, the box is not in as good condition as I was hoping for. You can see that there's some wear along the bottom and there's a crease right here. But it is cool to get this sealed. I am actively going to seek out one in better condition. Uh, just because, well, I if you haven't caught up on the channel lately, I am attempting to set the world record for the largest LEGO superhero heroes collection and in order to do that i want to do it mostly with sealed sets i'm kind of changing the parameters they're not all going to be sealed sets but for the most part i want them sealed and i do want a copy of this sealed for that collection and uh i just want it to be in a little better condition to bit than this but for now i'll hold on to this and that's cool and then the guys kind of threw in a gift with purchase and check out this legoland billand yes all the way from denmark wallet so you can see there's some Velcro on the back and you can open it up and it even has the original tag inside. It's never been used. This thing just screams 90s and it looks absolutely awesome. So I ended up getting this for free with the purchase of the other two, but in full honesty, the other two sets I just showed you, I paid $700 for. So uh, it was nice of the guys to throw this in for free, but it certainly was not cheap to get those other sets. Now we also stopped by a Meyer. Uh, I haven't been to a Meyer store in years, and my friend Michael wanted to go to look for some toys for his collection, and I did find the new Venom Poly bag there, which is quite cool. Uh, this literally just came out, and I hadn't seen it anywhere here in Nashville yet, so I picked up a couple of these. I'll be giving those away on Whatnot soon, so stay tuned for that. And finally, from the South Louisville Antique Mall, I picked up this sealed Eternal set for five bucks. I mean, hey, to get any sealed Lego Marvel set for five bucks is pretty awesome. Granted, this isn't one of the most exciting ones, but again, five bucks is five bucks. I also picked up this Gamora Brickheads. She is missing her sword, but it was 15 bucks. That's actually a pretty good deal because the Marvel Brickheads are going for a lot of money these days. And finally, the last thing I picked up at the Toy Mall was uh, some CMFs. So I was able to get a Goliath Lego Marvel CMF Series 2 minifig for 5 bucks, as well as Storm for 5 bucks. That's basically what they retailed for, and both of them are retired now, so I figured that that was a good deal. That being said, that brings the weekend to a close. I have a crazy week coming up this week. I'm headed to New York City, and fingers crossed I will get to participate in some of the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire hype that's going on in New York, but otherwise I'm just looking forward to a great time in New York City. I'm planning to stop by the flagship Lego store while I'm there at some point, so if you're in the city, uh, keep an eye out, because I'll be posting when I'm going to go. Just not really sure as of making this video. But let me know what your favorite part of this video was. It was so much fun to go. Thanks again to Lexington for having me. But most importantly, thanks to all my friends that I went to the convention with. I love you guys, and... It's always great making memories and being on the journey of life with you. Speaking of which, it's great being on the journey of life with you guys. I'm almost at 100,000 subscribers here on the channel, and I couldn't do that without you watching this video. So thank you so much for that. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Road to 100K is on, and I can't wait for that. So I'll catch you guys soon, and until next time, build on.